Um, when am I going to be getting my gifts from you? I have been waiting this whole time for you to message me or something about giving me my gifts, Ruby. What? Your gifts? You've heard about how Richard is moving up in the world at work, right? I thought it was pretty normal for a mom to want to give her son and his wife gifts after succeeding as much as he has. Things like a nice watch and jewelry or maybe money to go out to a really fancy dinner. Is that not going to be coming to us or something? I've heard about him getting that promotion, but I'm sorry, Leah. My family's never been really that big on celebrating things like that, at least not with gifts. What? So you're telling me there are no presents or anything coming from you then? I've been waiting this whole time for something to come, though. I feel that Richard would be far more happy to get a gift from you for his success than from me. So please treat him to something nice as his wife. Huh? Why do I have to be the one to treat him to a gift? I've been the one supporting him day and night so that he could get that promotion. In other words, his success is the result of both our hard work. I should be getting treated to something for his success as well and not have to be the one treating him. What? This is why I want you to do something for once and treat us for our success. I've been waiting a long time now for you to send me some kind of a text about the presents we should be receiving. Excuse me? Uh, and one other thing. Could you hurry it up with the money we need to pay for our wedding? I have been waiting for you to get back to me about that for a long time now. I've already sent you the cost of the wedding and everything like that, so get to it and get that money over to us. W wait a second. What do you mean you want money from me for your guys' wedding as well? We were just talking about Richard's promotion, and now we've jumped over to talking about your guys' wedding? You say we jumped to it like this came out of nowhere for you. Isn't it normal for you, the mother of Richard, to be the one helping us pay for his wedding? What? What is going on with these reactions of yours? Are you going to tell me now that this is also something you guys don't do in your family? Well, normally it's the husband and wife that'll end up paying for the wedding, right? I can totally agree with us paying a small portion of the wedding costs, but I will most certainly not be paying for the whole thing. Why not? This wedding is going to be the wedding of your oldest son, right? The wedding of the very important firstborn son of your family, right? Yet you're trying to tell me that you're not going to be paying for his whole wedding? This is very strange if you ask me. I can see what you're trying to get at there, but this family does not treat the firstborn any different from the rest of my children. And in this family, he doesn't get treated any better or raised any differently in the hopes he'll someday be taking over a family business. But it is a fact that Richard is the firstborn son of your household, right? Which means when you ever have a problem or something goes sideways, he's the first person you'll be relying on, right? Well, that's because he's family. We will get in touch with him whenever there is something we need. Then I think right now is the best time to show your thanks to us for the future of us always having to be there for you. Don't you? If you don't start showing us how much you want our help, then expect for your future to not be as bright as you might be hoping. What was that? Now hurry it up and get that money ready for us. This is the wedding of your very important firstborn son, after all. <laughs> hey, Richard, have you and Leah really not saved up any money for your wedding? And that's why you and her were showing me how much the wedding would cost in total? What? What are you talking about? I thought it was pretty obvious that I'd be paying for her wedding. If me, the groom won't be the one paying for the wedding, then who will be? <laughs> what? Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. <laughs> uh, wait, did you think me showing you the bill for the wedding meant that I was waiting for you guys to pay for it? Oh, sorry about that, Mom. Leah had just been whining in my ear over and over about showing you how much the wedding would cost. So to get her to shut up, 
I went and showed you to the bill and all that. Well, if that's the case, then okay. But are you really going to be able to pay for all of it? Because I was just told by Leah herself that she wanted me to start getting the money for the whole wedding prepared and sent over to her. What? Leah said that to you? Yeah. I was shocked when she told me that. Wait, 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 wait. Leah doesn't have a reason to be saying something like that to you, right? <laughs> What's going on with you, Mom? <laughs> what? I plan on paying for the whole wedding myself, and Leah should already know about that. Yet, you're now telling me she comes to you and asks that you pay for the whole wedding? <laughs> There's something not quite right about that, Mom. <laughs> but, but I really did receive a text from her saying that. She thinks that because you're the oldest son in the family, your parents should be the one paying for your wedding. Ah, and she was saying that us paying for the wedding would be for your dad's and my future as well. Richard, please don't tell me you're not telling me the whole story here, and that you really are trying to get money from your dad and I right now? I would never do something like that to you guys. And your guys' future? We aren't planning on ever moving in with you guys, or anything, then. So I'm not sure why you giving us money for the whole wedding means anything there. Even you and Dad want me living in my own separate house in the future, right? Well, I hope that's the case then. But why would she bring something like that up with me when she should already be aware of your plans? I'm not really sure myself, but perhaps it was something I said that made her a bit confused? Or maybe... Could this be her feeling a bit nervous about getting married to me and all that? We are planning on having a very expensive wedding, so perhaps the cost of the wedding is making her worried about our future together? According to that bill, it sure does seem like you two want to have one gorgeous and extravagant wedding. $80,000 for a wedding is almost three times as much as your dad and I spent on ours. We are both very surprised by that amount. Well, <laughs> I might have gone a little overboard in order to impress Leia more. <laughs> she has always been really good with her money and has saved up a lot in her life so far. When we'd go out on dates, she'd never ask that I pay all that much. And when it came to giving her presents, she never asked for anything all too expensive. When it came to her engagement ring, she told me to keep the price of it very low. Wow, is that right? So I'm starting to think that me asking for this huge wedding is a bit of a mistake on my part. Before she told me that we didn't even need to have a wedding or anything. But of course, I can't marry her and not give her a wedding. Also... I'm really looking forward to seeing her in a white wedding dress. I also told her that our parents would really look forward to us having a wedding, so we should be doing it for them as well. <sighs> that at least got her feeling alright about us having this whole wedding. No, wait a minute. You had to tell her that in order to get her to allow you two to have a wedding? You've made it look as though it's your dad and I that want you guys having this wedding, and less about what you both want? I can see now why she really wanted us to pay for it. Wait, you think so? <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure you guys really have been wanting me to have this wedding, right? You're going to be given the chance to see your son get married to a wonderful woman. Well, of course we're happy about that. Anyway, you and Dad don't have to worry about paying for anything, alright? You guys already know I'm making enough to pay for everything no problem. So you can just ignore anything else Leah tells you. <laughs> I cannot believe that you guys didn't even give us a single penny for this wedding. What the hell is going on here, Ruby? What? Once the wedding was over, I went and looked inside that envelope you handed Richard. All you gave us was $10,000. Are you trying to make us feel bad or something? 
even when not paying for the whole wedding like you should be, I expected at least 30000 from you and your husband. This was the wedding of your firstborn, and this is how we're going to be treated? What is wrong with you? Now, could you please calm down there, Leah? That 10000 was meant to be quite a lot from us two. Also, it seems that you are still a bit confused on what happened with your wedding, so I'll explain this again. In this family, my husband and I do not treat our firstborn kids differently from the rest of the kids. So please do not keep expecting us to give him some sort of special treatment or anything because of that. But this is your oldest's wedding, right? And he'll be the one getting everything from you guys later on, right? On the internet, it says that the firstborn son is always treated with the most respect in the family. That's why I assumed you guys would be paying for his whole wedding. What? At the start, I never wanted us to have a wedding. Richard kept going on about how he'd use his savings to pay for the whole thing, but we're already married and that means his money is my money now. So even if he's willing to pay for the whole thing, it's my money that's being used to do so. But he told me that we had to have a wedding because you and your husband have really been looking forward to one. So I just assumed that you guys would be the ones paying for this whole wedding on our behalf. Then my money wouldn't have to be wasted on anything and I could use it for myself. I... I can see there are a lot of things going on here. I think that the reason for all this confusion is due to you misunderstanding him. But also, you seem to think that all the money he made while single has become yours now? Also, that reason for thinking my husband and I should be paying for his whole wedding? Shut up! I'm not going to listen to some old hag nag me about any confusion when she didn't even fork over a single penny for the wedding. Did you just call me an old hag? I've had enough of this. Before today, you didn't give us anything to celebrate your son's promotion, and now you're not paying for any of the wedding. If you're just going to turn a blind eye to your firstborn son and his wife like that, then I'll be doing the same thing to you guys. He and I are now married, so we're not going to bother with you anymore. Don't expect us to ever be there for you guys in the future when you're both old and frail requiring our care, you old penny-pinching hag. So, so now you're calling me a penny-pinching old hag? You act very different when my son is not around to witness you. I'm not sure what about the way you act makes you the wonderful woman he always bragged about. Huh? <laughs> you think I'm really that stupid to ever act like this in front of the man who thinks I'm calm and cute? <laughs> the reason that I married him is because he likes me, and I like him. I never got married to him to try and impress you and your husband, all right? And so far, I can tell you're trying to do anything but impress me. I want presents. I want money. And I have every right to be asking that from you. I'm the wife of your very important firstborn son. <laughs> That's why I ask all of that from you. I hear all the time about how the firstborn son is supposed to be treated the best by his parents. And of all my friends that are married to the firstborn son, they always go on and on about how wonderful life is being spoiled by their in-laws. Some of them even got their house from their in-laws or a brand new car. And that's why I was thinking by being married to Richard, I would be blessed with the exact same things. That's a rather presumptuous hope that you have there. I understand that there are families out there that favor their oldest son most over anyone else. But hearing his wife say that she wants that from us, his parents? Well, I'm not going to hope from that from you guys anymore, so relax. <laughs> but because of that, I want you and your husband to never ask anything from us. I'm not going to care for you in your old age when you're going to keep on acting like the penny-pinching old hag that you are. <laughs> ah, since this is all going so well, how about we both cut ties to you guys as well? <laughs> Excuse me? Well, you and your husband don't seem to want to do anything for us anymore, so all you are now is in the way of our beautiful future as husband and wife. And I don't want to have to deal with either of you getting in the way of Richard and I when you're too old to go to the toilet yourselves. Caring for your old butt is a big N-O from me. I'm going to have us cut ties to your moneyless butts right away. 
Well, then Richard can say goodbye to that promotion he got. What? I completely understand now what you seem to think of my husband and I. I'm not sure where your values lie when it comes to being part of our family and his wife, but from what I heard you just say to me, you only want to be around his in-laws if they're willing to hand you everything on a silver platter. If that's all you're here for, then we'll cut ties to both of you as well. And us cutting ties to you both means that Richard will no longer get his promotion. Then we might even have him quit his job at the company. Huh? I, I have no idea what's going on now. What exactly are you trying to say to me that would make me think you could ever decide that for Richard? Well, I have the ability to talk to the CEO about this and have him take that promotion away. Huh? You can talk to the CEO? That's right. Do you understand what I'm talking about now, then? I'm the CEO of the company he's working for, after all, so I can just tell myself to take that promotion from him and boom, it's gone. So if we're cutting ties to one another here, then he doesn't need that pretty little promotion he was gifted. And I can't just have him work for my company any longer as my son if we're going to be cutting ties to one another like you said. So I'll have him leave his position in the company as well. Wait, wait, what is all this? I still cannot understand what's going on here. You're his CEO? Ruby a and Richard works for you? Is, is that right? I never heard a single thing about this though. I'm sure you haven't, Leah. And that's because Richard never wanted to tell anyone about it. What? Actually, in his past, he had his one girlfriend that ended up talking with him about all of this, and that turned her behavior from being a lover for him into being a lover for his money. He also told some of his friends about my position as a CEO, and soon after that, they would never stop asking to borrow money from him. That soon became a real problem for him. So when he entered my company and started working, he made sure not to say a thing about his situation to anyone. That's why even in the company, there's not a single person that knows about Richard being my son. What? Nobody knows about who he is then? When being hired by the company, he made sure to practice hard and take the same interviews as everyone else. And this promotion he just received a few weeks ago was also due to his own abilities and wasn't just handed to him over nothing. But that's too bad for him. All that work he put in was for nothing now, because his wife wants for both his parents to leave him alone forever. Ah! Uh? Poor guy. I feel bad doing this to him, but I have no other choice now. You are the one pressuring for us to cut ties to you both, just like you want to do to us now. This is such an unfortunate turn of events for everyone involved. Uh, um, wait. I, I, I didn't actually hear anything about this being a thing. I just wanted to be a good wife for Richard, yet I was never told all of this important information by anyone. I never knew he was the son of a CEO like you. I had actually been wanting to tell you all about this for the past few months now. But Richard wanting things to say a secret from you, and so I had no choice but to keep my mouth shut as well. I feel so bad about that, but he is your husband, and this is all what he wanted. There's no way. I'll make sure to go and talk with Richard about both him leaving the company for me and about how we're all going to be cutting ties to one another now. Now you and him live a wonderful life together as husband and wife for me, please. Wait, please! I, um, I think I might have misunderstood some things. I was just comparing what all my friends had to what I was getting and it made me feel terrible. And, well... That led to me thinking of you as some penny-pinching old hag, and that's why we started to treat you so poorly. All right, all right, I understand that. I happen to have lots of friends with mother-in-laws just like that as well. They're married to the firstborn son, and they get treated to all sorts of things by their in-laws. Even getting money from their in-laws whenever they ask for it. R right and that's why I totally understand how you must have felt when you married my oldest son and became my daughter-in-law. But the way you acted out at me was both rude and childish. So I'm no longer going to sit around and take it from you. I can't anymore, actually. It's one thing for you to want this kind of treatment from his parents, but it's something completely different when you start to call me horrible names and threaten me with cutting ties to us.
Right? You've really made me think twice about you now as my daughter-in-law. I hope you won't ask me to forgive you now after all those heartless things you've just been saying about me. Ah, <laughs> uh, um... I'll make sure that Richard is no longer working for me in the next few days. Have a wonderful day, Leah. Thank you for coming to the wedding yesterday. Also, thank you for talking with me about all those things. I never thought that Leo would be saying such things to you behind my back. It's so hard for me to take in even now. I can totally understand it's hard for you. You have been in love with her so much, and she was what you thought to be the one meant for you. But... Even if it's hard for me to accept, it's a fact that she acted way too far out of line then. That's why I'll be handing in my two weeks notice really soon here. I hope you make sure to handle all that then after for me. Wow, you seem to be completely fine with what I'd wanted yesterday then. I thought you'd be against leaving the company and would instead divorce her in order to save your job. Well, I'm partially to blame for all this as well. I was the one that pressured her into having the wedding by telling her you guys and my parents were really looking forward to one. Had it all been her fault, then maybe I'd be wanting a divorce right about now. Also, we only just had the wedding yesterday. <laughs> I was actually wanting to find myself a new job in the next year or two, so this will make for the perfect chance to do just that. What? You were thinking about leaving my company for another job? While working for you, I've always been a bit worried about someone finding out that I'm your son and all that. Especially during this recent promotion, I was really worried someone would think I didn't obtain it with my own strength, and that there was something else at play. Really, I just think I'd feel better working somewhere else besides your company. I hate to say that because in all honesty, I don't think it would be that big of a deal if people within the company found out I'm your son. But then again, I don't want to deal with all the hassle. Richard! So, with what's happened recently, I think I'll make this the perfect opportunity to leave your company. I'll find myself a new company to work for, and there I'll continue to work hard so that I can get back up to the same level I left your company at. I want to know that there is nobody within the company who thinks I was handed all my promotions. I think that alone will make work a lot more relaxing for me. That's a very good thing to do then for yourself. I know that once you leave I won't be able to watch your back anymore, but at the same time you seem to be very responsible for yourself, so I know you'll be just fine. And of course, I never once handed you anything while you worked for me, so I have full confidence that you can work your way up in a new company in no time. Thank you, Mom. I'll do my best. I just hope that after everything that's happened with you and Leah, you don't think of her as a complete witch. I've learned a lot about her bad habits now. But I know deep down she still has all those good things I love about her. So I'll make sure, as her husband, that she works harder to fix those habits and turn herself into an even better woman. If that's what you want to do, then I support you fully. But that support will only come from my heart, as for the time being I won't be coming anywhere near you and her. I am so sorry about what happened yesterday. After that, I had a lot to talk about with Richard, and he told me a bunch more. From what it sounds like, you really are the CEO of the company he's working for. 
I am so sorry for acting like such a reckless person yesterday without ever knowing a thing about you. You really don't have to apologize to me like that. After a good night's sleep last night, I have been able to move past what happened then and am totally okay now. Then that means the both of us can start working towards becoming really close as a family. We can completely forget about everything that went down and both you and I can become really good friends. Oh my, is that what that's all about? I thought you saw no merit in being part of my family. Aren't I supposed to be that penny-pinching old hag that you continue to call me all the time? What? I might not be upset about what happened yesterday anymore, but that does not mean I'm just going to forget about it. I'm sure you might have different opinions now compared to yesterday, but we promised to cut ties to one another, and that's what's going to happen. Isn't that all you wanted from me when we finished our little conversation yesterday? You have to be kidding me, right? Can't... Can't we just forget about wanting to do any of that? I happen to be a CEO and have a lot of things to do with the company I run, so there's no time for me to be playing games with you or your feelings anymore. Uh, no, I I'm really sorry that you feel that way about all that. I I'll apologize to you in person for all that, okay? So please just forget I ever mentioned wanting us to cut ties. I can't do that anymore. I told you I don't have time for games and... Right now, what you're asking me to do is continue with your games. And I've already gone and started working on ending my son's position within the company. He was the one that handed me his two-week notice just a little bit ago, so there's really no stopping it now. What? He's already handed you his two-week notice? He was right on it after we talked. Let me tell you, even he had been wanting to leave my company, so there were no hard feelings. That... that's a lie. Why would he want to leave your company like that? If he does that, he's giving up any chance he had of becoming the next CEO after you leave, right? That means I'll never be able to become the wife of a successful CEO in the future, then. He was never going to just become the next CEO after me, Leah. If he were to work even harder and show me that he wanted the position, then I'd totally be fine with him having it. But now that he's told me he had plans to leave the company for months now... I can see even he doesn't want to become the next CEO. And I'm totally okay with that, because I'd rather make someone from within my company the next CEO, as they're showing me they want to support this company with their everything. What? What should I do? I was thinking this was my chance to become the wife of a CEO, but because of what I've done, I've led my husband to leave his mother's company, forfeiting any chance he had at becoming this next CEO. You really did throw away your one and only chance. P please allow me to get him to stay within your company instead of leaving it? Then will you please let him be the next CEO? If you can do that for me, then I'll make sure to be the best daughter-in-law you've ever had. No, thank you. I happen to be this really bad, penny-pinching old hag, so I would never accept even your most sincere apologies. Therefore, let that be my goodbye to you now. After that, Leah tried her hardest to both get Richard to stay within my company and to get me to turn back from wanting to cut ties to her. But then Richard told her one day to cut her crap and take responsibility for the words she'd said to me before. He told her that if she continued to try and get closer to me, that he'd divorce her because he cannot trust a woman to be his wife who thinks they can just take their words back in an instant and change their attitude like she was trying to do. Following that, Leah stopped trying to fix the mess she created for herself and now cries day and night about losing her one and only chance to become the wife of a CEO. When it comes to Richard, he was able to find himself a new job in just a few weeks, although he won't be making nearly as much as he was before. However, the anxiety of being the son of the CEO was no longer bothering him there, and he was able to relax while doing his job.